the country and New Zealand ink a deal which aims to enhance the ease of doing business. This and more stories in tonight's National News Roundup by Joshua Garcia. New Zealand Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters visited the Philippines to witness the signing of an agreement between the Anti-Red Tape Authority or ARTA and the New Zealand Enterprise Authority aimed at facilitating ease of doing business. Discussions covered strengthening bilateral relations and exploring opportunities in defense, the economy, and renewable energy. The two countries are developing a roadmap to boost trade and tourism and preparing for the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations in July 2026. The National Amnesty Commission and the Philippine National Police signed an agreement to strengthen cooperation in granting amnesty to former rebels. This ensures the provision of safe conduct passes to surrendering rebels, supporting peace and unity in line with Executive Orders No. 125-2021 and No. 47-2023. The Commission on Elections or Comelec inspected the production plant for the automated counting machines for the 2025 elections and requested several customizations. These include removing the option for voters to change their votes, adding labels for election return recipients, and incorporating QR codes for quick result scanning. The Miro assured that it would meet the December deadline to produce 110,000 machines. The Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, praised 65 Philippine Higher Education Institutions, or HAYS, for ranking among the top 300 in the 2024 Worry Rankings, highlighting their innovative education and societal impact. CHED also emphasizes the value of international rankings for benchmarking and identifying improvements. Under the President's directives, CHED is actively supporting HAY internationalization to produce world-class professionals, focusing on niches like IT, animation, aviation, and video game development. Joshua Garcia from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.